Today I'll be teaching you how to install Color Linux into Raspberry Pi 5. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have right here with us, this is Raspberry Pi 5. So you can see the main component. This is the one where we'll be installing Color Linux into, and it's in a way an upgrade from my previous version. So I have installed Color Linux in Raspberry Pi 4, and now we're upgrading to Raspberry Pi 5. And of course, it comes with a 32 gigabyte storage, and you also have a USB reader. This is to be plugged into the power socket, and this is the case. Anyways, and if you see right here, this is my previous Raspberry Pi 4, and I can go ahead and turn this up. So you can see right here, it's in a very simple case. It's plugged into a monitor where I have Kali Linux running. Uh, you can see right here, so this is where I do a lot of Wi-Fi interesting stuff and we'll be upgrading that to Raspberry Pi 5. You have to get started. The first thing we need to do is go over into raspberrypi.com slash software. And I can see right here with the following. There is something called the Raspberry Pi Imager. You need this to install the operating system of your choice into the storage. And then after which you'll be able to boot Raspberry Pi 5 from there. So let's go ahead and click and download. So in my case, my host machine is Windows. So click download for Windows. And you can see the top right corner. I have the imager underscore 1.8.5.exe. It's 19 megabytes or so. Done. So go ahead and install that. And you can see right here we have the following Raspberry Pi Imager 1.8.5. Click install. Stopping Raspberry Pi Imager. Extract. Da da da. Once you're done, click finish. Okay, so once it's finished, when you launch it, you will see the following over here. So this is the page that we need to get to. Next up, we need to download the image. So in this case, I'm on Kali.org, and you can see right here where the following ARM, Raspberry Pi, and you scroll down a little, you can see the following of Raspberry Pi 5, and you can see right here, Raspberry Pi 5, 64-bit. Click onto the download button. It's 2.9 gigabyte. It's going to take a little while, for us to complete this download. So when we come back from the download, we'll be able to install that into the storage of Raspberry Pi. So while we're waiting for the download to complete, I'm going to unbox things, all right? So you can see right here, this is the micro SD card. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. So this is pretty straightforward. Um, all you gotta do is just open it and you will see the small little, oops, small little storage for us. All right, this is the one that will be inserting into the Raspberry Pi. All right, let's see what I can get Yoda focus working. All right, there you go. All right, it's pretty good. So this is the one I'll be using and it's 32 gigabyte. You can see right here. Let's get autofocus working for us. Okay, let's see if it works. Okay, there we go. You can see it right there. Awesome. The next thing will be unboxing. This is the main guy. This is the main device that we'll be using to install into and we can get a lot of native, I would say, features working for Kali Linux, especially those that deals with Wi-Fi assessment. Or, I mean, the real name is Wi-Fi penetration testing. But this is going to be very, very useful. So instead of launching Kali Linux from like a virtual machine, and then you're going to buy a separate Wi-Fi dongle or adapter, and it always have this some, some kind of problems on it, if you can just launch Kali Linux directly in the Raspberry Pi 5, it seems to work out of the box like magic. So... Let's go ahead and unbox that. So I'm opening it up here and we can see, I think this is like the manual or something. Okay. So once we have that, all I gotta do is open it up a little more and I can see right here, this is the one. It's pretty straightforward. Just plug in the power adapter and then after which you will have access to it and get a monitor, get a mouse, get a keyboard, all good to go. So this is how it looks like when it's fully unpacked. So you can see right here, and you can see the ones that will be plugging in the USB stuff onto, like the mouse, keyboard, as well as the monitor. And then this is the back of it. All right, so pretty straightforward. Uh, you probably need a case in case you get electrocuted. So you definitely want to install the case, but I want to get a nicer looking case instead of this one. And because this is like a micro SD card, so what we need to do with that is to use something that can read from it. So like a USB. So let me go ahead and just plug it in. All right, so you'll fix that right in. And once that's done, what you need to do is to plug this USB port to your computer that has the image builder or our imager. And then after which you can get Kali Linux installed right into it. So just three things that we need to do. The first thing is to select on the Raspberry Pi device. So in our case, we have Raspberry Pi 5. So select onto that. 
Next up is operating system. Choose operating system and we have several options here. And of course you can use Raspberry Pi OS, Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit, whatever, or any other general purpose operating system. But of course, in our case, we are hackers. We choose Kali Linux or Parrot OS or even Windows XP. So in this case, go over right at the bottom and select use custom. And you can see right here, I have already downloaded it. So double clicked onto that and we choose a storage. So plug it in right now and we see over here with the mass storage device, select onto that. Click next. Would you like to apply OS customization settings? So if we leave everything as default, you can enter no for that. And all existing data will be erased. Yes. So right now we're preparing to write over into the drive and it will take a few minutes and sometimes it will do a verification on that and once that is done all we got to do is plug it in into our raspberry pi 5 done you can boot right into Kali linux so super cool and at the same time i've already fixed it up there's a lot of tutorials out there that teaches you how to fix it up so it's already done you can see all the ports over here you can see the power button here and this is where we're replacing the usb power as well as the hdmi connection and of course this is the case cover so all we got to do is just place it right over it all right then just snap it right in you're done and then all we got to do is just connect the rest of the usb over and then we'll be able to run the raspberry pi 5 easily okay so the one that i have here is raspberry pi 4 it's time to say goodbye it has done a lot of great work with color linux on raspberry pi 4 and you have given me a lot of wi-fi passwords sorry i mean wi-fi networks so but it's time to say goodbye because i want to get faster i need more powerful machine processor so that we can crack our new neighbor's wi-fi sorry i mean uh we can connect with our new neighbor okay so we're going to the top right corner selecting on this and then just clicking on to shut down that's it goodbye so right here is raspberry pi 5 and of course we're going to unplug everything from raspberry pi 4 and then plug it right into 5 and once we have Kali Linux installed into the storage. Just plug it in right here and we are done. And we'll be able to boot directly into Kali Linux. All right, it's the Raspberry Pi 5. We're gonna plug everything in. So we got, this is the keyboard. All right, we got the mouse and we got, this is the power for it. So let's plug it right in. And we have this one, which is to the monitor. All right, let's plug it right in. We don't have an OS yet, so it's booting it up, but we don't have an operating system yet. So we're waiting for the installation of that to be completed. All right, guys, it is done right now. It's been written to the mass storage device for Kali Linux into Raspberry Pi 5. So Kali Linux is installed over here. And all we got to do right now is plug this in into Raspberry Pi 5 and we're done. We can boot it up. So let's do that. I've plugged it in right now. I'm going to power it on. Okay, so if you see here, you can see this turn green. The Raspberry Pi 5 power has turned green right here. This is the one. Okay. Now, let's see. All right, we're building in. in. So we're starting a color Linux. It's, that's it, it's pretty simple, really straightforward and you become best friend with your neighbors, even if they only know you through the Wi-Fi networks, that's fine. Okay, let's boot right into it and see how it goes. And of course, the default username and the default password is Kali Kali, if you need to log in. All right, let's see when we boot right in, let's test that out. And then let's uncover all these different Wi-Fi networks that is in your vicinity, okay? Cool, in, we see the login. Page here, enter Kali, Kali, hit enter on that, logging right in now. Boom, <laughs> done, beautiful. Okay, let's see. Let's connect over to some available network. I'll just connect to my own home network first. All right, so I have available networks. I have Hacker Lois network. Let's enter on that. We're connecting over into my personal network first. Later on, we'll connect to our neighbor's network. So no worries on that. Uh, if we don't have the password, it's fine. We'll figure out some way to get their password. That's totally cool, okay? 
So right here, we can open up terminal, all right? And we can, of course, do lots of things from here. Okay, we can do like ping, or right, any different web type of websites, and you can see that we have connectivity. So it's all working as intended. Done, great job.